Gone are the days of waiting in long lines at the bank or navigating through red tape. Forget stuffy branches and endless paperwork and enter Neobanks, the agile, digital-first challenges to traditional banking. Boasting over 39 million users worldwide, with 333 banks listed globally as of 2023. For decades, the world of finance has largely been dominated by the same big-name banks and financial institutions. However, over the past few years, the market has been revolutionized by a new generation of independent disruptors known as neobanks. So, what exactly are neobanks? In essence, they're digital-only banks without any physical branches. Built on fintech, which is the use of technology to improve and automate the delivery of financial products and services. Although they've been around since the early 2010s, but it's only recently that they've begun to truly disrupt the banking industry. With user numbers doubling yearly in some regions, they're on track to service billions globally. In Europe, Revolut and N26 have become household names, offering a range of services from international money transfers to investment products. Meanwhile, in the US, Chime and Varo are leading the charge, providing fee-free banking and automated savings options. Asia Pacific is not far behind, with neobanks like WeBank in China and Judo Bank in Australia gaining traction. Now, you might ask, if there are no physical banks involved, then how do they operate? Well, neobanks work by collaborating with licensed banks or obtaining their own banking licenses, depending on the regulatory environment and the market they operate in. They use cloud-based platforms and APIs to connect with third-party providers and offer various financial services to customers. The interface of a neobank might be similar to the online banking service offered by a traditional bank. However, for neobanks, online services aren't an add-on, but are fundamental to their model. And the best part of these banks overall, other kind of banks, is the use of artificial intelligence. They use data and AI to personalize and innovate their products and services and cater to diverse and underserved segments of the population. And by harnessing technology to remove barriers and democratize access to financial services, neobanks are not just challenging the status quo. They're setting a new standard for what banking can and should be in the digital age. According to a report by Allied Market Research, the industry was valued at $69 billion in 2022 and is projected to reach a staggering $3.3 trillion by 2032, growing at a compound annual growth rate of 47.7% from 2021 to 2028. But what's driving their meteoric rise? Several factors contribute to the popularity of neobanks. First, there's the widespread adoption of smartphones and the internet, enabling access to banking services anytime, anywhere. The agile nature of neobanks, which generally have fewer regulatory hurdles to clear, also often means easier account setup and faster processing times. This convenience is particularly appealing to millennials and Gen Z, who prefer managing their finances through mobile apps. A study claims that neobanks have two times faster login times and 42% more features in their mobile apps than traditional banks. It's no wonder people are turning to neobanks for a smoother experience. But the appeal does not stop at convenience. Think of no transaction fees, high interest returns on your savings, budgeting tools that actually help you save money, and real-time notifications for every transaction. Since neobanks are built from the ground up to operate exclusively online, it allows them to offer services that are not only faster and more user-friendly, but often cheaper as well due to lower overhead costs. Conducting everyday tasks like depositing checks or making peer-to-peer -peer payments online and without a flurry of fees, isn't it amazing? Moreover, from instant international transfers to innovative savings products, offering services that traditional banks may not, such as cryptocurrency trading, peer-to-peer -peer payments, and budgeting tools integrated directly into their apps. They're not just changing how we bank, they're redefining what we expect from our financial institutions. Take Revolut and N26, for example. They've not only simplified banking for millions, but also introduced features that traditional banks wouldn't think of, like cryptocurrency trading and in-app subscription management. Furthermore, many neobanks have their focus on serving niche markets or underbanked populations, offering financial services to those who might not have access to traditional banking. The fact is, these are disrupting the traditional banking industry and creating more value and choice for customers. So, with each swipe, tap, and click, they're charting the course towards a more accessible, efficient, and inclusive financial future.
And as technology continues to advance, we can expect neobanks to introduce even more innovative features, further blurring the lines between traditional financial services and the digital economy. Collaboration between traditional banks and neobanks might become more common, combining the strengths of both worlds, neobanks' agility and innovation with traditional banks' extensive experience and broad service range. This synergy could lead to a more resilient and customer-focused banking ecosystem. And neobanks are no longer just challenges to traditional banks. As more consumers choose digital banks, neobanks are expanding their offerings and driving change in the financial world. In fact, with predictions pointing towards a billion neobank users by 2025, we're on the brink of a global banking transformation. So, there you have it, the exciting world of neobanks. Whether you're a tech-savvy millennial or just looking for a more convenient way to manage your money, neobanks are definitely worth considering. Let us know in the comments below if you've tried a neobank and what your experience has been like. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more awesome content on all things finance. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.